hello guys so in this video i'll be showing you how to set up uh, navigation in a react native project so as you can see here we have a, a screen say sign up page and when you click on the go to sign go to login button you're going to be navigated to the login screen where you can see you can now have the content for the login screen and you can click to go back to the sign up the sign up screen as you can also see there's also a back button up here where you can click on it to go back to the previous page so if that's interesting to you uh, let's get started all right so here i have a blank uh, react native project in the terminal so the first thing you need to do is you need to create a new terminal window here you need to run the command yarn add uh, yarn add add react native sorry add react navig navigation So once this is finished installing, there are two other libraries that are crucial that you install to have the app running. So the packages are the React Navigation Screen and the React Native Safe Area Context. This is uh, the libraries that handle the navigation. Um, the commands you use to install these libraries are if, if you are using a, an export project or a React Native project. If you are using a React Native project like a the command you use is a uh, yarn add react native screens and react native safe area view safe area context rather i'm going to leave the the scripts to installing these packages in the link in the description so in the description of the video so do check it if you need any help so this is the command you use to install for a blank react native project however since i'm using an export project i'm just going to replace this yarn add command with the command npx expo install All right, so once that is finished installing, um, since in React Native, there are several different types of navigation, such as uh, the bottom sheet navigation, uh, the stack navigation, and uh, other types, you need to install the, the type of navigation that you want. In this, in the demo I showed you, we use the stack navigation, so you have to run the command yarn at uh, react navigation stack navigation. The first thing you need to do is you need to remove this text and you need to add uh, the wrapper container for navigation which is a uh, navigation container we're going to import it from the react uh, navigation native and this is going to wrap all the routes in your application that is all the screens so one thing i like to do as a uh, best practice is i like to put the app for users and non-users here this is because you don't want um, a situation where once a user has a logged in or anything like that the user has the ability to click the back button to go back to the login page so you also want to put the logic for pages that you don't want the users to go back inside here so i'm going to create a, a component called a app non-user since this is a, a non-user application this is a login system so it's a 
non-user i'm going to come here and create the component here i'm going to generate the boilerplate uh, react native function component using that extension it's uh, the react native React Native Redux Toolkit. Yes, that's the one. I'll save that and I'll come here and I'll import it. So I'll press Ctrl Space to select it and then I'll, I'll import the library. Now, this is where we're going to have all the logic for the login screen. So, the first thing we'll do is we'll need to import the stack navigation. That is, we'll come here and we'll say, uh cons stack this will be a capital s is equal to create stack navigation now i'm going to remove these views and we'll place the stack navigations here so we'll say we have the stack sorry stack dot navigation dot navigator rather And then here we are going to put the screens that we want the, the navigation to route to. So we'll just say we we'll have a stack dot screen. We'll give it the name of the screen. And this is very important. The name of the screen has to be unique because it is what you use to direct a route to a particular screen. I mean when you click on the button, it's that name that is going to be directed. I'm just going to call this one login. And uh, this name is also what you're going to see on the, the header of the of this of the screen. I'm going to call that one login. Log I'll give you the component. So for this for this one, we're going to create a component called login, which we will create now. So we'll come here. We we'll say inside the components folder, we'll have a folder called or oh, since this is a, a login screen, I will create a file called login.js. Now inside the login.js we're going to generate the boilerplate using this and then i'm going to come here and we'll give it the style so we're just going to style this component by saying style style equals style.container now all the styles we're going to give for the container we're just we're just going to say you should have a flex of one i mean you should take the width and height of the screen for now this is this is all we're going to do uh we should also add a uh, we should also center the the container but first let's first import it from here so this navigator is now saying that once you load the navigator load this uh navi navigator screen as the first element it says uh, so after restarting your server you are going to you're going to come back to the app.js file and you remove this uh, view this is because it uh, makes uh, the entire screen to be rendered as a single view rather than as a series of views so you're going to remove it and you're just going to leave the empty fragments you save it and you have the the screen so coming back to the login file we are going to start it a bit by giving it uh, justify content of center and an align item center now also give, going to give it a background color of white because by default react reanimator comes with this uh, for each screen react reanimator comes with this gray gray looking color so i just going to say the background color should be pure white okay so that looks okay uh for the text the text we added uh, to the I'm just going to come here and we're going to set this to login page and then we'll create a button this should just be a simple touchable opacity that we import from the react animated library and we're going to set an active opacity of 0 0.7 and uh, in here we'll just set a text that says uh, go to login oh, sorry go to sign up 
this is a button that's, that when, when the user clicks on it, it's going to take them to the sign up page. Now, to make this look good, uh, we're going to add some styles here. So, we're going to say the style should be styles.text. And inside here, we're just going to set the font size, a uh, font size of 17 and a color of white. Now, for the for the touchable opacity, the button, we're just going to also going to style it with, with the style of button. And in here, we'll say we'll give it a background color. Now for the for the final, for the finished product, I use the background color of uh, uh, this hex code. So it will be 03 b 97 e And then we'll set a padding A padding of 10 And for the padding, for the horizontal padding, we want it to have more horizontal padding So we're going to set the padding horizontal To uh, 20 That is double the size of the of the vertical padding I'm also going to add a border radius to it to give it a bit of curve. So we'll set the value to 6 and a margin top to give it a bit of space here. We're going to set the margin top property. I'll give it a value of 20. Now this is our login button. We're going to do a similar thing for the sign up uh, component, for the sign up screen. So I'm going to come inside this auth and we'll create a new file called signup.js. And inside here, we're just going to copy everything from the login component. We're going to copy everything from here and paste it here. I'm just going to change this uh, component name to sign up. And then we'll export the sign up. Now for the second screen, we're just going to duplicate this line. And we'll come here, we'll name this screen the sign up screen. And I'll give it a value of uh, sorry the component name to be sign up to, to be the sign up component. That's going to import it, and now we have the sign up screen. Now for you to navigate from one screen to the other, we're just going to come to here on this uh, button. We're going to add an on press event. I will say when the user presses on this uh, button, uh, we should call the function go to sign up page. I'm going to create the function here. So we'll say cons go to sign up. We we'll set it to an arrow function. And so when anytime the user clicks on the button, also I'm going to import the navigation uh, library. So we'll say cons navigation should be equal to use navigation. This is going to import the use navigation from the React uh, navigation. So inside here we will say once the user clicks, we'll say navigation.navigate, which is a property, is a function. I will say I will give it the name of the screen we want to go to. So in this case, we'll just say go to it is the login screen. So we'll say go to sign up. Like I said, the name here should be the name of the screen that you created. So this is this name. So once the user clicks on that button, it's going to take them to the sign up page. Uh, so inside the sign up page, let's just change the text here to say sign up page. The sign up page, and here we're going to say go to login. Now we're going to copy the similar, the same function. So it's going to be a similar function here. So let me copy this and paste it here, and then we say on click as well. On press rather, we'll call the go to
we'll say go to login and then we're going to replace this with this and we're going to give it the login component oh we need to import this uh, navigation to control space to get that snippet and then you import the navigation and uh, this is it so now you have so now you have the navigation when you click on go to sign up it's going to take you to the sign up page but as you can see this is a sign up page with the back arrow you click on the back arrow it will take you back to the login page to the previous screen that you're from and then you and then back here if you also click on this uh, go to login it's going to take you back to the login page so um that is it uh in in the in the stack navigation we can also add an initial an initial screen property which is going to say initial route name we we'll set it to whichever screen we want it to load first when the app starts so we're going to say so if we change it here to say sign up because by default uh react the react na navigation uh, library takes it from the first screen that appears off so you can change it to to whatever screen inside this uh component tree by just giving it the name here so if we set it to sign up when we restart our application it is automatically going to set this sign up page as the as the default page as the initial page of the application so let me come here to the terminal and i press r to restart the application And once it loads you are going to see that the sign up the, the sign up page is going to be the first page of the application all right so as you can see that loaded the sign up page as a default page of the application and then the login page now is the secondary page that has the back button that you can go back to that is it for this video so if you want me to do a tutorial to do a deep dive into the react navigation with stack navigation and other navigation such as the bottom sheet navigation uh do a please let me know down in the comment now i do a video to explain all of those so thank you for watching to the end and uh, i'll see you next time bye